Hey Scorpio, how's it going? So this is going to be your love spread for February 2018. I'm gonna look into recent past real quick and then move on to February. Okay, so Scorpio, recent past. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. So definitely something that required a lot of investment uh, of time, energy, even money, okay? Something that was uh, something that you kind of saw being very good long term, okay? But you needed to put a lot of work. It could be somebody that you've been chasing for a while. You know, it could be somebody that's definitely um, worth, you know, your attention, your all your efforts and stuff. But it definitely took a while, okay? And I feel like you're still waiting for something to come to fruition for, you know, fruits of your labor. Could it be uh, trying to purchase a home with your partner, you know, uh, maybe uh, go on vacation with them. I don't know, maybe propose to them, plan, plan a wedding, okay? Because this is a card of a happy home, you know, stable, secure home, financially, mentally, anything really. But it's more physical, you know, rather than, I should say, three, uh, four of one, sorry, is more like, on the mental level when people are happy together this is like people growing old together but in a very secure home if you know what i mean um secure with you know finances so definitely you were working on something that you saw you know benefit in long term and it could have been somebody from your past it could have been somebody could have been uh, all around children as well okay but not everybody has children and everybody's dealing with uh, a person with children and uh i feel like this could be somebody from your past or this is coming from like a long long time ago like years maybe like you've been doing this for years okay and what's next hmm and I feel like just because it took so long, and again, this is not for everyone, this may not quite resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you already, you can exit out. But this is a, you know, this is a juggling card. So this either made you juggle or this person was juggling, even though you put so much work into this relationship. This person could have been juggling, you know, you had to juggle your personal life and work or something, you know, something else to homes possibly something like that so what's gonna happen in february for scorpio wow starting out with the world first of all ten of cups <gasps> knight of cups guys what can be better than this combination you know screw the juggling <laughs> everything is looking good look at the world first of all the world is this could be overseas travel yes this could be definitely um even communicating with somebody uh, from the distance but i do believe this is some kind of a next step in your relationship okay for some of you for quite a few of you a few of you <laughs> knight of cups indicates a proposal which could be which could be a literal proposal of you know marriage like engagement okay and this is what's making both of you guys extremely extremely happy for those that are single i feel like you can finally get some kind of a love offer or you can finally approach you know your crush or whoever you're interested in and this is going to start a new completely new cycle in your life the world is next step okay some big change um for example you were just dating and then you decided to move in together that's the world you decided to get engaged that's the world you decided to break up that's the world but i do believe this is a change in a very very positive direction because look people are happy love offer is coming in proposal some amazing news sometimes uh, knight of cups is such good news to the point where you need to where you want to cry okay this is amazing 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 great february guys okay what's next like, I'm pretty confident that this is going to be a great month. Wow. Three of Cups, Temperance, <clears throat> and uh, Queen of Cups. Yeah. So, Three of Cups, 
a reason to celebrate, okay? Not a third party, no, not at all. This is definitely a celebration of some sort. So guys, a lot of you, I feel like, or maybe it's just I'm reading for somebody specific, you know? Um, maybe it's somebody that needs to hear this message, you know? Somebody that kind of maybe lost hope in their relationship and now it's finally getting much, much better. better. Some kind of uh, uh, drastic change is coming, okay? With the Queen of Cups here, this is emotional stability. This is love and care. This is a very, you know, warm feeling when it comes to your relationship. With temperance here, this is balance. This is patience. This is reconnection for some. You know, this is just a very, very balanced, very mature, very happy relationship. With Three of Cups, this is definitely a reason to celebrate, possibly because of this proposal. Possibly because, you know, somebody is incredibly happy, or both of you guys, and uh, you welcome a new beginning into your life. If you aren't getting engaged, which, you know, it looks to me like a lot of you will be, this is just a celebration of like a rebirth of a relationship or a birth of a new relationship. Definitely something like that. And I feel like this is something you've been waiting for so long, okay? A lot of you have been waiting for this for a while because it does look like it with pentacles here in the past that it was such a long process and maybe you even lost hope that it would ever work out. Well, for a lot of you, I should say, yes, definitely something positive is working out. Something's working out in your favor. There will be a reason to celebrate or you're going to go on vacation with your partner. You know, something really nice. And I mean, February and vacation don't really sound um, good together because February is such a cold month. <laughs> but I do believe this is going to be something really, really beautiful. Okay, now what's next? Scorpio, I think you're getting like the best reading here okay wow look what i saw but hey i'm not looking at <laughs> at the bottom of the deck yet <laughs> so i've got six of pentacles in reverse i've got four of pentacles in reverse and the hermit what i see here is that again i do see pentacles again i do see something uh that's the past position okay Four of Pentacles is not holding back anymore. Six of Pentacles is not an equal balance of give and take. Yes, not really being there for each other. So I feel like this crap is going into the hermit mode this month. This is something that's um, not toning down, but this is something that is getting released. Okay, so I feel like, again, something was being hold, uh, held on to. Okay, something maybe was being, was not quite exposed. Somebody was not quite open about their feelings, maybe, you know, this is holding on to your heart, not letting anybody break it. However, it's also holding on to a person from the past or a situation that's not letting you quite move forward in the way you would like, you know, and all you got to do is just force yourself to let go. So I feel like somebody is definitely letting something go or not holding back anymore, okay, this month. This instability that you could have been dealing with in the past, this imbalance, it's also been, I feel like this is what you're letting go, okay? With the hermit here, there could be a lot of decision-making in the past. There could be a lot of um, thoughts, you know, going within for answers, thinking of ways, what to do, okay? And I feel like since this is no action or quiet card, okay, I feel like this imbalance is gonna subside okay so i do believe this is not holding back anymore in a very positive way this is not realizing that it's not worth you know maybe arguing or having this imbalanced relationship you just want to make it work for once or not for once but you finally want to make it work or your partner finally agreed you finally got to a compromise okay so what's the outcome for scorpio for february 2018 So on the bottom of the deck, I've got just amazing cards here. I've got High Priestess in reverse, Three of Wands in reverse, and uh, Three of Swords in reverse. I believe that this is something that was stressing you out a lot, okay? This is something where you kind of felt hurt. 
something that you wanted to completely let go, your intuition was really messed up, okay, you felt stuck in a situation, nothing was actually coming to fruition, you were hurt by that. But I mean, come on, this is the past position because I do believe that you're going to have an amazing month. With Wheel of, Wheel of Fortune in the year found in reverse, this could be something that used to be unconventional to you, something that couldn't finally, you know, when, once the wheel starts spinning, things start, start happening. I have a feeling that this is something that was in stagnation mode for a while. And it could have been something unconventional or something that you could not get um, on the right level. I should say, you know, this is, this can be out of your norm. This can be out of your partner's norm, norm, something like that. But this is a lot of excitement. This is a lot of passion. This is making you feel youthful. It's making your partner feel youthful. This is something where youthful in love. I mean, you know, like you're in high school, that type of love. Okay. And this is something exciting. Some kind of exciting news could be coming in, exciting conversations, exciting plans. Okay. So don't pay attention to Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Don't pay attention to Wheel of Fortune and the Air Font in reverse. This is just kind of showing you that it's something that you've been waiting for for a while, something that you lost your hope in. This is what's going to be getting fixed, I should say, this month. Okay? I think you have one of the best readings for February, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to see you in my March readings. Uh, I'm going back to the States in mid-February and I'm gonna start recording from my apartment in Florida again and thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you soon bye bye